Oh, hi fellas, how are you doing? Yeah. Me too. I practice minimalism since 2019, and in the last one and a half years, my apartment, as well as the number of my possessions, and also how I purchase things has changed quite a lot. But it is still a work in progress. As it is with every kind of habit and a way of thinking that you do for a very long time, it isn't easy to step away from that, doing a 180 degree turn and change for the long run. I still have the urge to buy stuff randomly from time to time, just because I think might be a good idea. Often it isn't. So in this video I want to talk about three things that I purchased in the year 2020. One that I regret completely, one that I regret a little bit and the other one I don't really regret at all. So all three categories are covered and I also want to talk about how I sometimes fail in minimalism. As a kid and Still today, I'm a big Star Wars fan. I had a few lightsabers as a child, but they were more on the kid side of life. Plastic, durable, and made for combat. I always wanted one of the high quality ones. Metal grip, LED technology to make the blade extend and retract as a lightsaber would. I made a childhood dream come true. Am I happy with that purchase? Yes, and also no a bit. It was quite expensive and even though I purchased it as a gift to myself because the last year has been tough, it probably was an expense that wouldn't have been necessary. Do I regret it? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I had the 2018 12.9 inch iPad Pro with 46 gigabytes of storage. I liked it, but the amount of storage wasn't enough for me and I felt like the smaller one would be better for portability. So I exchanged it with a new model and more storage. I like my iPad. It is an absolutely perfect device and I don't want to miss it. But the upgrade wasn't necessary. I could have waited at least one year longer, maybe even two, and that's what I regret. Not being patient enough. So do I regret it completely? No, just a tiny little bit. I don't want to talk around the bush, but this definitely is the purchase of 2020 that I regret the most. Even though it is a very good product with this great boxy design that I already loved back in the days with the iPhone 4 to 5S. The difference, however, between the 12 Pro that I have now and the 10S Max Pro I had before are extremely minor. The only real one is the size, which is good because I wanted a smaller device. And yes, the camera is a step up. Yes, the design is nice. Yes, the color is great. And yes, Yes, the CPU got faster, but in my day-to-day -day use, it doesn't make the experience of using it any better. I don't recognize it. Also, why did I have to buy the Pro? The Mini would have been a much better decision, I guess. I don't know what it is, but I'm always drawn to new Apple products. Maybe it's the advertisement, but whatever it might be, I don't want to push the responsibilities away from myself because it was still me who made the decision. I don't hate myself for buying it, because we all make mistakes, but I definitely regret the upgrade and the purchase. My dad always says, free time is expensive. If you work, you earn money and at the same time, can't spend it. And what I try to say with that quote isn't just work your ass off all of the time. What I try to say is, for many of us, the last year was mostly free time and sitting around being online, the temptations are everywhere. And I know modern times, extremely easy accessible. One day delivery, free returns, free shipping and whatsoever. The time of Amazon and co are at a new peak and even though I got rid of more stuff than ever before in 2020, I also bought a few things. This table for example, I like it but as a table it just does the same job as my old one. So yeah. Oh. This test cam audio recorder in combination with this Rode microphone. The idea, step up the production quality in my YouTube videos. Looking back on the year 2020, noticing that I haven't made that many YouTube videos. I just cut it here. Sure, they give me great audio, but they also make the process of making videos much more complicated and the return isn't that much better as you would love to. I said in the beginning of this video that I sometimes fail in minimalism and as this is true to some extent, it is also a big clickbait. Sorry, let me explain. I want to be happy and I sense 
Living a simpler life makes it easier for me to achieve that. But how can I be happy if I judge myself every time I make a wrong decision? It was some work in mind, but I don't anymore. Regret? Yes. But judging? No. Definitely not. Our time in our life is right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Right here. Right now. Our time and our life lays in the present and the future. We can't change our past, but we can learn from it. And that's what I try to do. I try to not feel guilty every time something turns out to be a bad decision, and you shouldn't too. Because I think that happens way too often, that we judge ourselves for no good reason. I definitely fall into the trap of always looking for excuses to buy something. And most of the times I try to justify purchases by saying, well, I need that because it would make my life much better and much easier. A few years ago, I wouldn't question decisions and purchases. They just happen and then that's it. And I think this goes for many of us. How often do we buy things that end up not being used or getting value out of? Items that seem to bring all the joy that you missed, but rather to do that, after a few days or weeks, the dopamine boost flattens and it becomes a randomly used item without any excitement. And this is where my behavior actually changed the most. Nowadays, I do question purchases. And for me, this is a big step. Becoming more attentional with the things you own and the things you purchase is a first step in the right directions. Do you have anything lying around in your home that you purchased a few weeks ago and that's now not being in use anymore? Let us have a little conversation down below in the comment section. I would really love to see that. In the end of every video that I published in the last few weeks, I always asked for likes, comments and subscriptions. Today, I want to change that up a bit. Not saying that you shouldn't like, comment and subscribe, because I would still really like to see that happening. But more importantly, I would really love to see some of you actually share my content, share my videos, share my channel. It would really help me to grow. It would really help me to reach more people that may have the same struggles and problems that I had. Talking of struggles and problems that I had, video on that topic is coming. Not soon, but it is coming. It is on the list a bit further down the road. So stay tuned for that if you are interested. Or in other words, help me to help someone else. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a great day. Stay healthy, stay humble, stay foolish, as Steve Jobs would say it. And I see you all around next week. Oh, I need another word. I can't just always say bye at the end of the video. It sounds so ridiculous. Always this bye thing. Oh, uh, what do other people say at the end of the video? Oh, oh. <laughs> Ah, hope that helps. Zero zero eight voiceover. I don't know what I'm saying is because I completely lost track anyway.